Hi, I'm here with Soren Sko, CEO of Musk. Uh, it's fantastic to have you, Soren, here. I just want to, you know, start by uh, asking you about leadership and perspective. I mean, you've really had one of these amazing global careers. You've been in Copenhagen, Beijing, many other places, and now, of course, lead a global company. How has your experience shaped your thoughts about both the company and, uh, and leadership? I've learned ma many things. Probably the most important lessons have been that that you know these kind of cultural differences are overrated in my humble view. I think most people that you meet around the world, doesn't matter where they're from, what their background is, they all want to have a challenging job, they want to provide well for their family, they want to live a good life, they want to do, do, do well uh, and do good for the, the society. And, and I think if we as, as leaders aspire uh, to deliver that kind of purpose, that kind of vision, aspiration. I think we can we we can do well, and and that's what what it takes to to run a global company. Oh, that makes a lot of sense. I know we are partner Microsoft and Musk are around digital transformation, especially around the supply chain and uh, and all of the work that you're doing. Uh, what tell us a little bit about your own digital transformation journey? Obviously, digital is a big part of what you're doing uh, going forward. How would you describe uh, your initiatives then? We have a, a quite a broad number of initiatives with, which you can label digital in some shape or form. Mm -hmm. uh, it, they fall in three buckets. There is a big bucket around customer experience. We are on a quest to digitize the customer transactions. Uh, make it as simple to ship a container as it is to to order an airline ticket when you are going online and and you know that that's uh, that's actually a lot easier said than done because you need to standardize and and do a lot of things in order to do transactions uh, right. online the second uh, big bargain is around optimizing the way we run the business we run 750 ships more than Four million containers in a big global network. Uh, we run uh, 74 ports as well. So, so just figuring out how to get the cranes to move faster, how to get the ships to sail with less fuel uh, consumption and so on are big opportunities uh, for us. And we believe that the Internet of Things is, is going to be a, a help, help here. That will also uh, create much more visibility in the supply chain for our customers. And then finally, uh, the third uh, bug is our initiatives around creating new revenue streams, streams for, for, for MERS due to, due to digital and the, the data we own. And then one final question. In your career or now as a leader of a global company, um, who would you say uh, inspired you or mentored you? I, I've, uh, I've had many people that have inspired me. When I was uh, relatively young, I was, uh, I was the, what today is called the PA, mm -hmm. uh, for one of the very senior executives uh, and, uh, of, the, of the company, and he was a true great strategic thinker. Mm -hmm. That was his real thought, and, uh, mm -hmm. and some of the questions that he would ask me when, when I would bring data to him as questions that I use today with my team, you know, like, so what? <laughs> so, you know, you can come in a lot of data, but What's the so what? You know, is uh, is this a big number or a small number? You know, there's a lot of, you know, I, good questions that came out of that that really helped me during my career to try to put a perspective on things to understand the problem and decide whether this is important or not. Oh, that's wonderful. Thank you so much, Soren. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Thank you.